I'm Alfred. And this is Dishonored. The last episode on fact. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Escaping the flooded district, you return to the section of the city where the Hound Pits pub is located. To pick up the trail of your old allies, find out where they've taken at me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, uh, I pounded some fucking pizza during the break. <laughs> Please. No. Oh, it's going to be like a week-long break for them. Yeah. The it actually will. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survive. Yeah. Because he arranged it. Before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. I like this one. I like this, there, this girl. Cecilia. Looking yeah. for you is my guess. Cecilia? Yep. How pretty. At first, Pendleton said it was time for our bonus. Havelock stood behind them, and at the signal, he shot them each in the back of the head. Just like the target drills he used to. Lydia barely had time to scream. I would be dead, too. Except Wallace told me I wouldn't be getting anything. Pendleton kept apologizing, saying that no one could ever know about the things they'd done. Martin was drinking and seemed sad. The Admiral was about to shoot Callista. Then he mumbled something about owing her uncle, Captain Kurnow, a debt. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. So yeah, shit went real bad. Like they started murdering everyone that they had formerly worked with. Well, I mean, evil is kind of self-defeating, so. <clears throat> yeah, that's the thing. So like, even if you don't solve the problem, uh, the problem's gonna be solved eventually. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're just the catalyst to it. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna... I mean, God, I almost stabbed you. Killing started. Poor child. I thought she has more I dialogue. Her eyes. The Admiral I said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they I wonder if she did hide her eyes. For all that they'd done, going after Emily's seen some shit, dollars. man. <laughs> I suppose it's why they poisoned you, too. So yeah, they literally didn't believe that Corvo could be killed with bullets, so they poisoned me. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia wow. is the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. I want to do I like a little cosplay of her. She's so she's so cute. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close. I like her trousers. I like her her cute little button up. I like her fun little messenger hat. Yeah, yeah. She's like a <clears throat> she's like a member of Newsies. Oh my god, I'm blind. All right. So now we've got to sneak back to the old base. I was only a kid at the last coronation. Did we even make it to tonight? Will you look at this mess? Relax. One of the officers said he was dead. Poison thrown in the river. If you ask me, he's long gone. Between the mask in the river, left top. That's what a rational person would do. Yeah, they're talking about me. They're like, yeah, Corvo's a fucking maniac. That song from Yakuza will not get out of my fucking head. Dame Dane? Or Bakamita? Yes. Yes. So I've decided that I'm just gonna go crazy and kill all these motherfuckers. Is that alright with you? Yeah, that's fine with me. Anyone Is else? Is there a reason not to? <clears throat> oh, for my clean hands playthrough? <laughs> you what clean hands playthrough? Hey, when you're, uh... Not busy fighting some guys. Pump your heart, okay? I'm curious. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get a. Uh... Take out his legs. Anyone else? Woo! Dunk dunk. You look like the river man. They spread their nets wide and pull up all manner of things. The sweet, the deadly. So I learned that that dump dump sound that your heart makes is not actually the muscles of the heart. It's the sound the the blood makes when it's th flowing through um, that that one valve. Yeah, the aortic valve. Yes. I've actually seen my own aortic valve. How did that make you feel? That was really weird. It's like oh fuck, I'm a thing made out of parts. Yeah, I I have organs. I don't. I hate that. I hate having organs. It, it's like it's like oh, I'm not just a consciousness. And it's like, oh, if one of these things go awry, I I will no longer be a consciousness. 
Have you heard the theory that uh, consciousness evolved as a way of keeping humans alive? I have heard that. Survival of the fittest. Yeah. Which means we can fuck. Survival of the fuckest. <laughs> this guy is really working his fucking job here. He's, wor he's working like he's getting paid overtime. Yeah. Out here simping for capitalists. He's a fucking, he's, he's a newbie. Yeah. He doesn't know that, like, Havelock literally killed everyone who worked for him before and will do it again. Well, no, like, the other guys, they clock in, you know, they do their 9 to 5, but this guy, he's like, maybe if I work extra hard, the boss will notice me. Corvo, remember when I mentioned a special drawing I was working on for you? This is it. I don't know where you went, but I hope you get back to us and see this and like it. I'd like to take it to Dunwall Tower with us. Everyone is acting strange tonight. Samuel was whispering to Callista about a flare launcher she's supposed to use to call him. He told her to lock the door to my old tower. I heard the Admiral tell the others we're leaving tonight for a place called the Lighthouse on King Sparrow Island. I hope that you get back before then. So, he has taken her to King Sparrow Island. And if I find Callista's flare, I can call Sammy with her. Nice, nice, nice. Time to find that flare. Indeed we do. So is that rune far away? It's relatively far. Wow, he led me. That was really impressive. That guy's getting his paycheck. I'll tell you that for free. But he won't. Yeah. You know? Power slide. Calista. Calista, it's Corvo. Corvo, I can't believe you're alive. What's the password, Corvo? They killed everyone to cover it all up. Then they took Emily Boss with Crusher, them and they Corvo. left. I Wait, is that Callista her. dressed up? Please find her. Hmm? No, that's what she normally dresses. Oh, she looks so much better as a newsie. All his talk Cecilia, Sarah. Those are two different women. Oh. But Havelock will use Emily like a puppet to his own advantage. <sighs> this would be a good time to tell everyone I have terrible <laughs> facial recognition. Yeah, she can't tell white women apart. Callista, fret not. I believe there's still hope. For Emily and Dunwall. I don't think Corvo's gone. I'll be searching the river, but if you catch wind, shoot a flare using the launcher I placed in Emily's tower, and I'll make my way back quick as I can. Keep the tower locked, take care of yourself. Emily is gonna need you when this is over. Samuel. I'm quiet if any of us go near, whispering late into the night with Havelock and Pendleton while you were out doing the real work. I think they realized they were one step away from holding right. the same position the Lord Should I listen to her? Do you want me to listen to her? Yeah. And they be held accountable for what they did here, as the loyalists. They would have killed me too. But Havelock spared me. Out of respect, so I think that's because we saved uh, the uncle as well. Nice. Talk to Samuel and the others. Someone must know where they're going. Find Emily. She's suffered through so much, and she's got no one else on her side except you. Samuel set this here in case you returned. You can use it to call him. He said he'd come quickly. Hopefully there's a place he can dock where the watch won't see him. So first we got to deal with the watch before Sammy shows up. Okay. Dude, that guy's eyesight is fantastic. He has been hitting those carrots. Okay, you did get time to sneak, sneak, sneak. Captain Manning, we've tracked the conspiracy to the Hound Pit. Search the premises for all the natural philosophers Piero Joplin and Anton Sokolov. Do what you must to secure all materials with the enhanced arc pylon they've been making. Question them thoroughly, and when you're certain they have everything they know of the pylon, execute them both. Bring it to me with the papers and recordings. They may be two of the greatest minds of our age, but they're traitors who conspire with Corvo to bring down this empire. I'm keeping Emily Caldwell with me at the lighthouse in King Sparrow until we're certain Corvo and his conspirators have been dealt with. Lord Regent Havelock. So, now we know exactly where they are, and if we want, we can try to save Piero and Sokolov. I'm down. Okay. Our Piero and Sokolov are the good guys, right? They're the scientists, remember? Yeah. I mean, did they betray us? No. Well, good. Well, let's try. It's refreshing to converse with someone on my own level. Oh, there it is. Your expulsion from the academy. Hell yeah. So these two nerds are talking to each other, and it turns out that they love each other. It's like, wow, it's awesome to finally talk to someone so smart. <laughs> it's like I'm, like I'm talking to in my mirror. It's like a mirror. Corvo, and look, they're also hunkering down while they have this fucking conversation. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. 
God, this guy has a whole animal on his face. Right. Didn't you have the option to kill this guy? No. You have to take him back alive. With got this it, device, got it. We can send a powerful Wasn't he your enemy? Kind of? Yeah. But it turns out that he's such good friends with Piero, this guy. He's like, yeah, I'm down. And now both of them will upgrade my shit and do some stuff. They're like BFFs. Yeah. So, what do you want to do? This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. We can either electrocute our enemies or electrify them. So, make them unconscious or burn them to ashes. I like the idea of them being unconscious just for the slim hope we get that ending where we were kind of good. I, you think that's out of the cards? Oh, that's not in the cards. That is definitely not in the cards. Although... We're good in we're good in every ending. It's just whether we're chaotic good or lawful good. Okay, so um, so we're gonna electrocute Ash or unconscious. Uh. Yeah, we're either gonna kill him or not kill him. I mean, I want to kill him now because you know what's the benefit of not killing them? Uh, a little less on my hands. Let me grab this guy. Well, don't we have that thing of like um. If they go unconscious, they turn to ash. I guess that's still killing them. No, no, yeah, we have to kill them for it to activate. Okay, um, I mean, let's go with the ash thing and, uh, burst into flames. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Are they yelling for the assassin to give them help, or are they yelling at an assassin? There like, is an assassin, please help us. Okay. Assassin, help! Corvo's like, help. I don't know, man. I've never helped a single person in my whole life. I've done some. Remember that I helped out that guy with his love? Remember when I brought him that girl so he could throw her in a. Uh... Ooh. Jeez, what was that? That's a spring razor. I like that. <laughs> An explosion! Yeah, you're supposed to be way further away from them. Because they're extremely dangerous. Uh oh. You really sound like they're asking you for help. Yeah. My controller has been rumbling off the clock. Where's it at, y'all? I guess the gunshot wound didn't do him in. Yeah. All right. Only a few city watchmen remain standing. <laughs> yeah, there's really not too much point to killing him at this point. I've already got so many of them. Avalok's old room. Uh, oh, here it is. Alright. See, it literally tells you how many of them are left alive. Yay! And, uh, yeah, there, uh, there aren't a lot. God damn it. Guys. It really just feels like someone's kicking you in the seat of the pants, you know? Yeah. Oh, my butthole. Please, stay away from it. Chosen one got me right in the butt crack. Ugh. Joplin, talk to me. Here you go. All right, so you want to turn them all to ash? Yes. Unless electrifying, or I guess we are killing them, so electrocuting them is more fun. We already know what it does, guys. Burn them, Piero. I should have guessed you'd want to act decisively. It's a simple adjustment, and we will be ready. Burn them. Burn them all. Burn them like they wanted to burn me. So, all is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power. That's, that's what you do we'll sometimes. Be yeah. When this arc pylon is charged, just no stroke your beard and thought. I do. It's the main reason I like having a beard. That and twirl your mustache. Yeah, I do that a lot as well. So the DLCs for this game are called uh, 
the Knife of Dunwall, where you play as Dowd. And then the Brigmore Witches. Uh-huh. Where you play as Dowd again, but fight eight. Fuck, man. <laughs> nope, just... Look. I tripped, okay? Sh look, I tripped. <laughs> God damn, cut me some fucking slack. <laughs> no, it was just... <laughs> I like the idea of Corvo being, like, really clumsy. Oh, oh. oh god, I'm sorry. He's, like, murdering everyone. Um, anyway, so the Witches DLC. Uh, yes. So the Knife of Dunwall is you play as Dowd, and there's, like, uh, a couple levels, much in the way that Corvo has levels. You go do stuff, yada yada, etc., etc. Uh, am I in the right place, guys? The arrows might that might help you. Yeah, that would make sense. Wouldn't it now? There you go. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Okay, so the witches. Yes, you fight a coven of witches. Okay, so are we taking turns on those, or? If you like, you can play all the doubt ones, but it'll be a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah, the, I will. For those curious, it'll be some time. Um, maybe I can squeeze that in uh, after my XCOM playthrough or Stalker. I was I was being stupid, everyone. So Check that shit in. Yeah. It was done with that shit. Get I, it out of here. I love here. that it throws it out. This shit empty. Just kick those over, boys. Oh, those were guys. Uh oh. Yeah, all these were guys. All those little piles there. Yep, siege has ended. So now Sammy can come here pretty freely. We once discussed a system of I would do anything for Sammy. <laughs> I'd burn the whole town down for Sammy. Yeah. Mr. Joblin, can you... Uh, thank you. Yes, I need I'll you do to do what you want, but ask quickly. All right. Upgrades. All right, that's everything. It's a lovely time for us to be playing this game. We're getting a really beautiful sunset right now. Oh, yeah. And so like Sarah it, might start sundowning, so if we cut, that's why. Yes, but it is, you know, we're in the now ending of the game. The it's, watch, the sun's going down. Out. Very, very, very nice. All right. No way I can help Emily Let's pop the shit. I saw Samuel on the river earlier. I'm sure it'll take you where you need to go. It's not really a flare so much as it is fireworks. <laughs> Sammy! Sammy, my boy. He's coming into port. Sammy. Yeah. Sammy. 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 My man. I knew you wouldn't betray us, Sammy. Never could. God, imagine if you fuck up Sammy's, like, fucking side quest. You fuck up his social link. And <laughs> it really is a social link, isn't it? The game just ends right there. Like, there's there's another like you can't four levels. you cannot play as Corvo unless you are friends with Sammy. <laughs> yeah, like that's the one choice you don't get. Oh man, could you imagine if you play as like if you have to play as Dad at that point? Thought I'd find mm -hmm. you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? Damn oh my fucking God, straight. He's our best friend. Oh, he's the best. Corvo. I knew it. We'll That's real bonding soon. time when you're in a boat with someone. Oh, yeah. Just hanging out, me and the daughter. <laughs> or that unconscious guy. <laughs> we got real close in that time. <laughs> yeah. We kept poking him to see what he would do. Putting a feather at his nose. <laughs> Drawing Shaving cream in the hand. Penises on his forehead. He's got a lot of forehead to draw penises on. <laughs> I mean, he's basically asking for it. That canvas. Chef's kiss. Ought to be something to see. So we're at the King Sparrow. Yep. Hostiles killed 25, although the chaos is low. What? Because we killed them in such a way that they didn't leave behind a body. So they don't feed the rats, so they don't feed the plague. Oh, wait, that's what the chaos is based off of? Yes. 
So getting shadow kill really early. Oh, it's not even, okay, so it's not even like, oh, you killed people, you're chaotic. It's, hey, you helped the rat plague kill the people you want, but at least dispose of them properly, you animal. Yes, it's, yes, it's, hiding bodies can help keep the I rat plague down. So like if you put them in a dumpster and close the lid so rats can't get in, you'll keep the rats down. Awesome. And uh, as, I, as I've mentioned, the rats will actually, like the amount of plague in your game save will uh, change. So like if you have a lot of chaos, later levels will be overflowing with weepers. Mm. Hold on, Sammy's talking, I have to pay attention. Yeah, you're right. So we gotta climb that whole fucking tower. It's been a pleasure serving with you. Maybe after all this is said, we'll see each other again. Sammy, you're getting a place in the palace, bro. Yeah, I was gonna say, Sammy has obtained at least a knighthood, in my opinion. If, if not a barony, like... Can we give him a small island and crown him king of it? So we've actually managed to get here with low chaos, which amazes me. Hell yeah. Wow, I didn't think that that was going to be the deal. So I'm going to have to play this pretty sneaky because I don't have wait, any Wait, wait, so if we would have chosen unconscious, does that mean we may have heightened the rat plague? Uh, I don't know, actually. We Ooh. might have. It's a bit counterintuitive. See, a very wide area right here, you can see. Is he an enemy? That's an enemy, yeah. Wow. They don't look normal because they have Havelock shit on as opposed to the normal guard stuff. Oh, this guy is like purple in his hair. But uh, it's the weird one. I know, stuff. but I wish. Give me your bullet. Just the one. Yeah. It's really funny that they only give them the one bullet as long as you're looting them, but if they're gonna shoot you, they got 20 of those fucking things. It's like Bloodborne. These guys and their fucking whiskey and cigars. Like, it's really you. it's really making me want some nice warm whiskey. Oh whoops. <laughs> One more rat for the road. Whoops. Oh, whoops. I got shocked. See, this is why you would want to use your dark vision to, like, have vision of where people are. And not be like a, like a dumbass like me. You've been doing pretty good today. I have been doing pretty good. I've been relatively on it. So yeah, uh, this is the last level. It is definitively the last level. All right, and can't wait to see my my ward, my whatever definitely she is. Definitely not my relative. Nope. Like you know when we're watching like The Outsiders or Lord of the Rings, and it's like no homo here, everyone, totally heterosexual. Look just away. Nothing gay going on here at all. Even though it's the gayest thing in the world, just shut up. It's not no, shut up. It's like this is the most familial thing, you know. Like, this is the most agape thing that you could do, just, you know, they're not related, you know, it's not a, it's not a daughter-daddy thing. It's a, it's an honor thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, yeah, he's a, he's like a knight. Cool. Was there something blinky on that, on that, uh, on those over there? Uh, yeah, there's a thing I can pick up. Okay. I'm full of remedies, but I only have the one, oops. Yeah, I only have one, uh, health tonic, but I have only, I have a whole bunch of remedies. Full to bursting with remedies. Yeah. So I may as well show you this right now. <clears throat> It's a really cool effect. I love that. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a fantastic To the effect. fucking Shadow Realm with you, bro. Yeah, and the only thing they leave behind is their weapons. And then I loot the gun, and then there's just a sword left behind, and no one comments on it. Fucking crazy, right? But yeah, it's a lot quicker than the chokeout. So I turned off the alarm, so they're not going to call that. Chances are very good. Time to sneak. Mm -hmm. Oh no, how's Corva gonna get through this one? Mm -hmm. <gasps> he stopped rat. Oh my god. This is embarrassing. For him! Hurry, take, 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 uh, the rat. Do rat. Well, no, I was going to say become rat. No, yeah, I know. I wanted to become a white rat. Yes. Noom. Now we go through the rat tunnels. Okay, what happens if you become yourself inside the rat tunnel? Uh, you die. Oh. <laughs> like, you're, it's, too, you're too, it's too small for you and you just explode. All right, so we're here. We've got through Kingsborough Fort. We're heading up to the lighthouse. Someone suddenly gets a huge dent in their floor. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, just this fucking big corvo shaped hole. <laughs> that, that has 
to be the most painful way to go. Becoming a rat? No, no, no. Like, becoming human once you become a rat, but in oh, a small, yeah. tiny place. Uh-oh. This could be trouble. Uh-oh. Oh god. You're fine. It's cool. See, you're doing great. Ah! It's got the urge to watch Cowboy Bebop. I don't know why. Take him down, Corvo. Just machine gun these fucking arrows at him. I've got a lot of these fucking things. Now's the time. Yeah. It's not like I have any health. They're everywhere. They are. This place is fucking crawling with them. Style. Yeah. Ooh, wait, did he have anything on him? Probably, but fuck. I don't have the time to wait and see. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. Lighthouse. Pause this if you want to read it. Oh, boy. That guy. Now let's see if we can't just hunger down here. Where are we headed? That way. <sighs> okay. Oh shit! It's the wall. Well, oh, that was the enemy. Uh, That's fair. That's fair. We tried. I really thought you were gonna make it. Yeah. Uh, doing doing this like power punk shit is really difficult though. Okay. Now we leave the raid. And now let's just stop up here. Oh. Well, what if we went this way? Detroit, be become rat. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. I just blew up my microphone. I have really intrusive thoughts during this playthrough. I've noticed. Must be a shot. I wonder what she's doing. <laughs> Wouldn't that make a much better game? Than Detroit Become Human? Mm -hmm. You could say that about pretty much anything. I mean, of the David Cages. Uh, that, is a be that is the better one. Yeah. <coughs> oh, right, yeah, I've got my dark vision I should be using. But I guess it's because you didn't have his grubby little French paws on everything. Yeah. The guy to your left. Well, several, actually. Yeah. Some rats. I liked seeing naturally occurring rats. All right, sorry, just had to hyper-focus in. Oh, hello! That's a smoking deal. It really sucks when we both hyper-focus in. Yeah. Woo. There's gotta be a term for that when the playthrough just goes silent, because two people are just zeroing in. Yeah. Oh, boy. Give him the loop-de-loop. -loop. Yeah. Oh, fuck. There's people on this end of the loop de loop too. No, it's George Washington. Hustle, Corvo. Okay, now you have to take care of his body. <laughs> Whoa! I rewired that. That was cool as hell. So yeah, now they're walking through it and it's totally killing them all. Fuck you, dude. Oh, that was cool. There we go. Got him. Totally nailed it. Wait, can does his body disintegrate? No, they have to be uh it has to be an unaware kill. Oh, you can loot the bolts back from them. That's funny. Oh, I like that. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, that's a super important detail of using that fucking weapon. Does Sokolov just come in here at night and leave these all over the place? <laughs> no, he's, no. He's he's the health gnome. They're why <laughs> Yeah, he's the puzzle gnome. 
No, yeah, they're widely distributed because they're thought to stop the plague. Not that they do, but you know. I mean, you seem to be immune to plague. Well, I've got the mask. Caught the plague. Literally, the only thing that's stopping you from getting the plague is the fucking mask. But on the other hand, it's working so well. Yeah, I wish people would uh, learn that. Well, look. The giant fiberglass and asbestos mask that Corporal has on is certainly effective, but... I'm not sure how, like, uh, practical it is. No! God damn it. Well, it certainly is fancy. Yeah. Chance that I can... This is uh, not far behind, so let's well, let's see how it happens when we load here. Yeah, all right. Yeah, cool. okay. Schmuck and deal. Back on the schedule. Schedule, huh? Schedule. Okay, so let's see how we're getting up. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> not that way. Well, I found how we don't get down. Yeah, I mean, that's the quick way down, right? Oh my god, the crunch of his kneecaps. Ah, oh, my knees. I'm like 30. The slide was just, the slide was a little much, you know? It's just a little too sh too short of a slide. What if you go around the, well, no. Hmm. Maybe there's a control room I missed. That would make sense. If it were to be somewhere, it'd be hmm. here though, right? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh wait, go to that map behind you, to the left. That's not a map. Never mind. I believed you. Oh, I believed me too. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the best. Like, why did you lie to me? I don't know. I lied to me too. Okay. Okay. So yeah, if we get under there. Nice. We can hack it now. Yes. Perfect. Oh. Now we can't be followed. We're so good. So by the way, I I very intentionally uh, did this in such a way that I would raise a whole bunch of alarms. Fucking longer do I have? Yes! Oh, there he goes! Ooh, yeah. Oh god, he left that big fucking blood stain. Ugh. It builds character. It does. He's dead now, though. Uh, yeah, I did this in such a way that it would leave a whole bunch of bodies and a whole bunch of noise because I want Havelock to know I'm coming. <laughs> I, I, I know that I normally am very willing to admit, like, yeah, I just didn't feel like being stealthy. But in this case, let me down, bro. Can't yeah. fit your big corpo ass through there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you totally should be able to go through that hole. Yeah, that's super weird. Do I have to loot the key off of it? Okay. Hello, friends. Oh. Where did they come from? Oh, they're hungry. Yeah, look at them go. All right. Let's party. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's basically just me and Havelock. Rescue Emily. It all comes down to this. It does. I'm gonna do just a little thing and I'm gonna boost the game audio so it's a little noisier. So you're gonna hear more of Corvo's step stepping, but because we're coming up on the ending, I want everyone to be able to hear it. At least he's not wearing the tap shoes. Yeah, we took those off. That was the most serendipitous joke we've ever made. It's like he lost you for a second. There you are. Bring me the next one. Come on, come on. Before my adrenaline goes away. Come on, more, more, more. Yeah. I need more bodies. More blood for Corvo. Well, this place is beautiful. Have we been here before? I think we've been here before. Uh, no, this is a totally new area. No? Beautiful. So yeah, we have to find Martin, Pendleton, and Havelock. Found him. You could just eat it right now. Oh no, that's the- that's Come on, come on, touch that jello. Did you think I'd fight you, Corvo? Sorry to disappoint. This and is we'll Havelock. The key to Emily's cell. She'll be glad to see you. You made quite an impression on her. Did you know that? She asked about you constantly. Isn't he evil? Where you yeah. were. Well, why is he what talking you, you up? 
Because he knows he doesn't have a fucking chance. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> Did you see his realization? Like, he realized what was happening, and then he looked up, and he said... <gasps> Sorry, I'm leaning you back because you're blowing up the microphone. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, you're super right. It's the dopest. It's one of the coolest kills in this fucking game. Done such things. The microphone was like, please, yeah, please. And I'm ashamed of. How could anyone ever forgive us? Would they? Even if things are better? No, no, that's not how it works. I love Once that the look. The look of, oh, fuck. Everything is <laughs> the dawning realization. If anyone ever knew, we'd all lose our heads for this. So no one could know. So, um... Could we ever control Emily with Corvo around? That's the question that sticks in my mind. We need to make our final move, and we need to make it cleanly. No loose ends. Only a few in the know. The ones with the most to lose. So. Wait, grab that book. Uh, I'll check when we come back down. Okay. So if you come here in high chaos, you have to fight your way all the way up here, all the way up here, until you come to here. Havelock is standing there with his pistol against Emily's temple. Jesus. So we didn't get that ending. And I'm kind of sad because that's a super dope ending. Like, it's really cool and all, but like, also it's very extreme of like, hey, this child will die because of you, Corvo. So, did we get low chaos for the game? We ended up getting low chaos, I think. What the hell? Yeah, I guess it's because, um... So I guess, the, I mean, let's just make no plans. Apparently we do it right. Yeah, I totally didn't know that it was did possible to get low chaos. Oh shit, you're right. Thank you. Welcome. All right. Havelock, entry seven. We could not have done this without Corvo, and for that, I am grateful. I fear he does not have the vision to see the future we must achieve. We will not maintain our grip on the Empire with a little girl-setting policy, and I believe Corvo's loyalty to the Caldwin women has clouded his head. Is she his daughter? We will take Gunwall to the pinnacle of strength. But Corvo's role in this cannot be recognized. He must be vilified, and when I take the reins of the city and the Empire, I will be seen as hero and protector. Until we get through all this in the coronation, nothing is certain. Dunwall Tower has got its own culture. No telling what could happen when we move in place too soon. Next steps are to be handled carefully. Things are happening quick. Teak Martin's the overseer, a clever one, and his ideas have taken us far. Where he comes from, he should be pleased. Uh, he can be assured that the overseers will support our claims, whatever they are. There's only one man between us and the Empire, Lord Regent. Um, Lord Regent will soon find himself standing, staring into the hideous mask of Corvo, so that I have no doubt, but what happens after that? Uh... Entry four. He's returning with Sokolov over his shoulder. Amazing. Not only can Corvo project lethal force, he can do an extraction I didn't think possible. And soon the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here together. If I can get these rivals to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of unimaginable power. If I could command both of them, well, we'll wait and measure their dispositions toward each other before following that line of thought. Pendleton was willing to go further than I thought. He served up his own flesh and blood at the cause, and I can see he's truly loyal to the Empire. Oh, are you reading these backwards? Yes. Okay. Um, could I have done the same my brother was alive today? Probably. Undoubtedly. Many innocents must be sacrificed to the good of Dunwall. Every loyal watchman that falls beneath Corvo's blade is giving his life for the Empire. <laughs> Don't worry about killing those guys just doing their jobs. They work for a villain. See, everyone is disposable, except me. Except me. I'm the important one. Sincerely, Havelock. Uh, it seems we invested in the right man with Corvo. He freed Martin, and he went into that viper's nest and sorted out Campbell personally. With Corvo and our company, I suspect there's no one in the world we cannot touch. We're now committed to this path, and there's no turning back. And then entry one. Days since our men dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They haven't returned, so I can only hope they succeed in getting the package delivered. Pyrrhus sent uh, considerable time and resources to make those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them in Dunwall Navy, what's secure its place is the dominant force in the globe. Back to Corvo. Can he break out of Coleridge, and if so, will he make his way back here? I personally give him odds of one in five. Some of you may die. But that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Precisely. Precisely. See, so yeah, because we got here in low chaos, uh, we just... Yeah. Now throw him in the fire. I no, no. Gonna... You know what he needs? What? Rats. <gasps> You're right. Well, here, check this out. Remember Overseer Martin? Yep. That was that guy. And Lord Pendleton. All three of them. It's time for rats. Did you get that book? Can't summon the devouring swarm here. All right, we're carrying you guys outside. <laughs> this is our last mission. There we go. All right, let's get the bodies and put them in the raft. You're beating royal flesh tonight, boys. We are the rats. Celebrating yet another birthday. Pendleton. It's your time. 
And you have a lock. Yeah, look at them go. They're feasting. Now, now, one last thing. Well, that. But shoot the jello. Yes! All right. Okay, that's all I needed. Now, time for Emily. Oh, yeah, the real <laughs> the real mission. Admiral Havelock? Fuck, I want that bathtub. You can stand in a corner until you learn how to behave. Corv... Who's there? So she's like, what's happening? I heard a bunch of rats and gunfire. Some people getting hype. Corvo! Aww. I knew you'd come. Is it going to be okay now? Will I be Empress? All right. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Chaos. Hi, Chaos, indeed, e do. Killed Havelock, read the journal, and rescued Emily. The end. You ready? I'm ready. So ends the interregnum. And now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. Oh, wow, we're handsome. Yeah. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. golden age of pouring shit into people's mouths. Yep. Just mercury and shit. Oh, they all survived. Aw. Coral at the hound pit. With Sammy, the there he is! Yes, yeah, Sammy! your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb. Because you are more to her and royal protector. Not a not a boyfriend though. Don't worry about that. That's dishonored, everyone. Wow, that was good. Oh, Sarah, you completed your first LP. How do you feel? Good, really good. That was really fun. You enjoyed LPing? I do. Yeah. Now you've also uh, now seen the end of Dishonored for the first time. What do you think of that? I really enjoy it. I can't wait to play. There's a sequel, yeah? Uh, two D uh, there's three DLCs for this game. There's a sequel and there's DLCs for uh, that game as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready to see more. Yeah. It's a fantastic world they built. Um, like, honestly, what can I say about Dishonored? Like, they built an amazing world. There's a whole bunch of great stuff to do in it. The whole game is just so well executed. There's a few things that are rough um, that we've already talked about, but, like, yeah, this game's fucking great. This whole thing's great. And here we see Anton's uh, concept art the credits here. That's the Executioner guy. So do we get to see Slackjaw and Granny Rags again, maybe? Uh, I'm hoping. Oh, look, that, 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 that's the, the wolf mask guy at the fucking, uh, at the ball. So, do you have a favorite mission now? Is it still the ball? It is the ball, followed by the last mission. The last mission's great. And you only saw, there's there's two ways that last mission can go. You can either get there in low or high chaos, and it completely changes. In low chaos, it's all stormy and shitty. It's uh, it's all dark. Um, like, it's it's raining as you're there. And as I said, uh, the whole thing is this climactic showdown with thunder and lightning as uh, Havelock has like a, the gun at, em em at Emily's head and also points it at you and like, Good. You gotta be quick. Listen to this music. Oh, yeah. Like, everything in this game has been executed not perfectly, but so well. And at the very least, it was executed with intent. That's one of the most important things to me. I'm gonna actually turn this in. Oh my god, Granny Rags was Susan Sarandon. Who's you, Susan Sarandon? She was in Rocky Horror Picture Show. Fuck yes. Carrie Fisher was a <laughs> random street woman. What? Michael Carrie, Madsen what are you doing was Dowd. Here? Billy Lush was the outsider. Zach Hanks for the Pendletons. Is that the real Carrie Fisher? Al Rodrigo was Slackjaw. John Curry and Peter Jessup played the assassins. 
Wow. Uh, yeah, Susan Sarandon. She was also in The Hunger with David Bowie. Nice, nice. Like, I'm, I'm kind of stunned you don't know who Susan Sarandon is, just snap, because, like, she's in two very aesthetically important movies for you. Well, I mean, maybe we should just watch it again. Well, maybe we should watch The Hunger again. Can you believe that Willem Dafoe is in that movie for 30 seconds? <laughs> it's the fucking wildest thing. Yeah, it's all these actors who just show up in really weird spaces. Yeah, there's, there's, okay, so there's, we're talking about this David Bowie movie called The Hunger about lesbian vampires. Um, naturally very aesthetically important to us. Like, features a lot of good shit in there. David Bowie landing on his keys, all sorts of things. But there's this one fucking scene where, uh, one of the, one of the ladies is at a fucking, like, payphone. In case you were curious about what era this takes place in. Uh, yeah, she's at a fucking payphone, and she starts having, like, vampire visions. And then, um, goddamn, Willem Dafoe is outside asking her if, if she's done with if she's done with it so he can have his turn on the payphone. And it's like, he plays, like, an extra. It's the That's weirdest thing. That's when he thing. calls Spider-Man. Yeah. I can roll the city, Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, man, imagine if the hunger ends up being worked into Morbius the Living Vampire's backstory. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah, um, we've been talking. We've been thinking. Uh, Sarah cannot Let's Play very often. This is a very special extra treat for you. She can record some dialogue for me like she did in uh, that meme video I did last Mother's Day. And she recorded um, uh, She recorded for Hereth's mom in my Drow videos, uh, which she will do in the future if that mom ever reappears, and I intend to. Yeah, and I, I love recording, and I love doing things for the channel. It's just I am a very busy woman. Yeah, like she has a job in her field. She's going into a very difficult field, and she has college, so it's an extra special treat, um, but primarily for us because it's nice to do this together and then see it as a video. Thank you, love. Yeah, of course. I love you. I love you, too. Let's kiss on microphone. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm officially sundowning, and I have to use the restroom. <laughs> no, don't abandon me in the middle of the credits. <laughs> oh, my God. I always watch the credits in my LP. Okay, wait, what if we just pause it real quickly? <laughs> uh, you can go to the bathroom and come back. I can. The credits will last that long, yeah. I promise. <laughs> Um, I'll just tell them about the LPs we're working on. You got it. Okay. She'll, she'll be back, everyone. She needs water. I do, too, but I'm just tormenting myself. So, um, after Dishonored, we're thinking that we're definitely going to play the DLCs in Dishonored 2, although we're going to have to schedule time for that. Um, we, we like the idea of playing, like, the thinking gamers, uh, first-person shooter. Dishonored is definitely an example, but I also believe that, um... Half-Life, Bioshock, uh, even stuff like Dead Space could count. Um, Sarah does not like Deus Ex Human Revolution, but I think she's incorrect in that. I think that she'll come around to it because it's very similar to Metal Gear, which she's a big fan of. Um, so, you know, we're going to do all that. Uh, we're on the... We're, we're thinking, we're thinking like, Sarah and me will switch off every, like, game, basically. Um... So, like, I'll play all the even, or no, I'll play all the odd-numbered games, and Sarah will play all the DLC and uh, even-numbered games. So, like, I'll play Bioshock uh, 1 and Infinite, and I'll play Dishonored, and then Sarah will play, oh my god, I think my friends are here, I think I see them. And then I'll play, um, like, Half-Life 1, and then Sarah will play the Half-Life 1 expansions, and the Dishonored DLC, and Dishonored 2, Bioshock 2, Half-Life 2, the Half-Life expansions, you know, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, I've got a short list here. Uh, I also have a lot of interest in playing RPGs with her, but holy shit, those are gonna, those are gonna take up time, because, like, it's long for me to play an RPG. Like, just my playthrough of Honest Hearts, which is one DLC of one RPG, was, like, five hours. No, I think it was longer. I think it was, like, almost seven hours, in fact. Um, and I would love to play, like, New Vegas with her, or Mass Effect, Dragon Age 2. Because I love Dragon Age 2. I know it's not the best, but, um, yeah. But yeah, we've got a lot of plans, a lot of stuff, uh, but Sarah's just very busy. If you like, in the comments, just tell us what you might, tell us what you think. Like, should we, hey, should we do this next? Should we hop on this? Play one of these. 
Uh, this is me just kind of shilling for myself, but if I get gifted a game on Steam, I'll almost definitely play it. So if you would like to cheat and use this to force me to play a really bad game, uh, I guess I wouldn't be able to escape. Um, this is a, uh, yeah, we're still going, huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a cut here, but bam. Let's see what kind of troll we can get ourselves into. Hey, she's back, everyone. I'm back. Yeah. Wait, you might need to have the microphone near me. Oh, right. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I pulled it over to me so I could talk a little easier. Uh, I was basically telling him about how we plan to play, um, either really smart, replayable, uh, first-person shooters or RPGs, or both, like something like a Fallout New Vegas. I'd enjoy playing anything with you. Well, of course. Um, oh yeah, the one outstanding one that is like not like anything else, but mostly because it's also not like anything else in general, is um, uh, Journey. I've intended to play Journey with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really excited to play it. You really hyped it up to me. Oh yeah, um, and, the th and the reason that it goes on there is because it's a very aesthetically important game, and it's nothing like anything else, so. So yeah, these are all the levels, so if you would like, so yeah, there's only nine levels in this game. Huh. Yeah, it's really short. So yeah, Dishonored, Overseer Campbell, and this one's great just because it gives you a bunch of stuff. House of Pleasure, Royal Physician. I think that this is the weakest one besides maybe Dishonored just because, like in this one, you don't have your magic and there's only really one, eh, there's only two ways to play it. Yeah, yeah. Like stealth, sneak, no kill, or stealth, sneak, kill. Because like, you don't have the ability to go really loud but you also, like, don't have your magic, so you have to sneak completely mundane. Uh, High Overseer Campbell. This one is excellent. There's so much to do in just this, in just this one. Uh, this one has the fantastic scene with Slackjaw where he's like, all right, they're gone. I asked them to be brought to me. They're brought to me. And then it just says, they're gone in the fucking, like, uh, target uh, neutralized in the, in the, in the fade up. <laughs> And it also has the scene with the art critic, or the art dealer, remember? Mm -hmm. Where it's like, ooh, your footsteps are heavy. You've gotten fatter, my dear. <laughs> and then you start shocking him, and he's like, ooh, all right, you can stop. And then you shock him again, he's like, um, you can stop. And then you're like, give me the fucking combination to your safe. Yeah, that guy is, like, filled with kinks. Yeah, that guy's terrible. It's like, ooh, have you gotten larger? This one is, uh, this one's probably the weakest one. Because, yeah, yeah. again, mm -hmm. there's only so many ways to do it because you have to get this guy out of the building without being seen or him getting killed. This one's fantastic. Loved it. Oh, Loved my it. God, this one's great. Uh, this one's cool because you finally get to kill the, uh, the High Regent. Lord Regent, rather. Uh, this one is the no gear level. It's a classic. I even talked about this in my playthrough, of, or I will talk about this in my playthrough of Far Cry. Um, Loyalist is good because you get to see how your friends have reacted to the news, and you get to see Piero and Sokolov being friends. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like 7, 8, and 9 went the quickest. Is that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I also kind of blew through them. Uh, oh, also, this one has the, the showdown with Dowd and the showdown with Granny Rags versus uh, Slackjaw. Yeah. And then Light of the End, this one's fantastic. And there's two ways to do it as well. We only did the low chaos. I highly recommend... Somehow. Yes, I don't know how that happened. But I highly recommend that everyone uh, buy this game because I'm a firm believer in the concept of voting with your money. If Bethesda sees... I guess Bethesda doesn't exist anymore. But if Microsoft sees, oh, hey, everyone fucking loved Dishonored and people are still buying it to this day, maybe we should crank out another one of those. And they'll be like, Arcane, here's another five years. Make a new Dishonored. And they'll say, okay. You know? Uh, so, Donald City Trials are races where you play as Corvo. They're essentially Bloody Palace shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll be playing those. It might just be me playing them. Knife of Dunwall is the first Dow DLC. You have a completely yeah. unique moveset. You have a you have new areas, new maps, and the big uh, okay. to assassinate your own targets. And the Brigmore uh -huh. Witches are where you fight witches. Oh, I, I spotted that. Yeah, you fight the Coven of Witches. So... Again, it's the same thing with Dowd versus Corvo. Yeah. It's Dowd and a completely different group of people who work for the outside. Yeah, expect to see me playing that one because yeah. I'm going to get my grubby little paws all over that. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we'll do this one, as I said. Um, <sighs> but, yeah, that's that's our first collective LP. This has been Dishonored. This has extremely <laughs> been Dishonored. Expect us to... Expect us to some... To, uh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. I've been talking too long. <laughs> I recorded two episodes a day. How am I already breaking down? Expect us uh, sometime in 2021, uh, which is actually in one month from the upload date. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, this has been the second upload for the day. I hope no one missed it. And I've had a really good time with you. I've had an excellent time with you, my we, dear. We've had, we've had a great time with you guys, too. Yeah. But we, we were, like, here in the room yeah. spending time with each other. Yeah. I don't know where you are. You can't smell my breath, right? <laughs> you, you, smell, you, you smell pretty good. So if I can't smell your breath, then... The internet can't smell me. Yeah. I mean, they might be able to imagine they could smell you. Okay, imagine something, like, musky and handsome. Yeah, yeah. Like like a, 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 a big stack of a, a pancakes, you know? But also, like, <laughs> sexy enough to fuck. If you can imagine fuckable pancakes, you've got me right there. It gets so messy. Yeah, all syrupy. <laughs> imagine my scent is the mixture of syrup and... And jism. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a Canadian delicacy. <laughs> I think they call that a Justin Trudeau. Okay, we, we, we gotta go. We're disgusting them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play Half-Life or Bioshock or something else like Dishonored. Uh, analogous to Dishonored, not identical. We'll play Dishonored 2 sometime and we'll play the DLC. But until then, uh, this has definitively been Dishonored. See ya. Bye. Get wrapped. That makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into.